nearly at the halfway point now as well. So uh, that, yeah. that's come around quite quickly, isn't it, from that um, yeah. season open in September? Yeah, no, it has. The season has gone, it's gone pretty quick since we started in September. But in, it's, I think, like I've said, there's 14 weeks to go. So he just wants us to attack these 14 weeks and, uh, and obviously end up with a promotion or go for the, go for the league title. And, you know, it's a busy fixture list as well, isn't it? You, you've got so many games coming up. For you, is it one of them where you prefer playing to, to be in training? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everyone prefers to play rather than train. I mean, training is where you do work on stuff tactics-wise and that's where you get your conditioning done, but I think it, it all matters on a Saturday. Still kind of quite tight near the top. What's kind of that key kind of motivating factor for you guys to kind of you know, keep the form going and, and keep that run going? Oh, I think it's, it's a givenness in the group. Uh, it's just knowing that when it's not really going for us, we still got to stick together and finding that way of trying to get a result without, even if we're not playing that well. Yeah. I'm just trying to stay in the round it really. Uh, we, 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 we don't want to overlook it and, and uh, I don't know, be cocky in a sense of thinking that we've cracked it and we, we can almost go yeah. for the top place. We just want to stay in the round it and just, Hopefully, good comes of it. You've played nearly all the games this year. Um, you know, it's still sharp, still keeping. Um, feel like you can carry on playing every single match. Yeah, like I said, I'd 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 hundred percent prefer to play than train, and uh, it, it's it's a weird one. Um, because obviously this is my first like full season playing week in week out. So I'm just starting to get used to it. But I feel like I'm I'm getting used to it now. I'm coping well with it, and long may that continue. How have you kind of adapted to that role as well? Because you formed some good relationships, haven't you, with uh, whoever's playing right wing back, you know, making sure you're always mm. covering one another. Yeah, like we all know each other's games, especially when we're in with each other day in, day out. So, it's, I mean, adapting isn't the hard thing. I think we all know what we, we're going to get from each other. So, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't matter who plays there, really. I think we, we all got good relationships and link-ups only played Port Vale probably about a month ago now I think and that was tough game tough pitch and a physical team so they'll bring you know a tough test here won't they uh, to the innocent yeah one. yeah no they're, they're, they're a good team it's hard to go away at Port Vale and, and win so to get a point I think we take the point hopefully we can look back on that point and see it as a good point but yeah I, I mean this this Saturday we're going to we're going to go and tap the game and hopefully take all three points off them. But they are a good team. We do know their strengths. So, we are, we're working hard and, yeah, hopefully we get the three points on Saturday. And, you know, I don't know if it's just a, like an old cliche, really, in football, but, you know, a team without a manager, they're always, the players are going to be out there to, to impress whoever's in That's caretaker true. charge. Yeah, we know they're going to come out flying, sharp, uh, ready to impress. We've just got to manage that and, uh, and then once we nullify them, start playing our football and hopefully flourish as the game goes on. 